Thank you for joining me in this Power Flow Yoga. My name is Beth. Welcome. If you're new to me, I welcome you. Get some water. If you're well, if you're coming in to join me, again, welcome. My name is Beth. Now, if you like this content, please share, like, and subscribe. This helps me to know that you like the content. Again, if you have any special requests, you can find me on my Instagram at Om Green Wellness. Now, if you need any prop for this practice, by all means, have the prop handy and ready to go. Let's have fun. Roll out that mat. I'll see all of you soon. Hopefully you like this content. Again, my name is Beth. Welcome. Namaste. In the easy pose, press your, star your thumb to the sternum, lift your chest, draw shoulder away from the because throughout the day we're not breathing normal. We're speaking, we're, we're wondering, our mind is wondering here now. I want you to return to here and now. It's quite hard to do. But as we flow in our practice, I want you to notice any difference. So we're going to start with inhalation. So inhale, exhale. You can sigh out a couple of ones from the mouth. So inhale from the nostril and just open the mouth and go. Inhale. So really feel it. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now interlace the hand, bring the, the palms together. So find your breath and press the palm away from your body. Relax the shoulder. So we're going to inhale, we're going to draw to the chest, and then press out. Okay, so chest and then out. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, inhale, exhale, close your eyes, inhale, exhale, palm touching the heart, inhale, exhale, you can close them out. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Push the palm to the ceiling. Find your thumb, lengthen the spine, re-caging. Drawing yourself nice and tall. Lengthen it. Maybe you've been sitting all day in the office. Bend the right elbow, allowing your shoulder to open. Keep the head neutral, belly in, re-cage it. Inhale, hands reach up, press the hands all the way up. Find that same breath, exhale, left elbow, bend, open. Inhale, press the hands all the way up. Exhale to the right side. Inhale up, use it three seconds, and then as we exhale, to the left side. Inhale up, exhale to the right side. Inhale up, exhale to the left side. Inhale up, exhale to the right side. One more on the last, on the left side. Inhale more, Ex open, exhale, left side. Notice your breath. Come back to center, hands reach up. We twist to our right side, left elbow, right knee, right hand behind you. Open the chest, draw the shoulder away from the ears. Notice your back body, are you sitting tall? Inhale, back to center, reach the hands all the way up. And we twist to the left side. Drawing the right shoulder down. Don't force the twist, allow yourself to slowly and mindfully look to the back of the room. 
inhale, reach the hands all the way up. We're going to reach the hands forward. So really lengthen the spine. Push the hip to the heels. And then exhale. Relax the body. You release your breath. Walk the hands to the right side. Drawing the shoulder away from the ears. Feeling your lower lumbar. Especially if you've been sitting down all the morning or all afternoon. Walk the hands to the left side. Notice your breath. And then walk your hands to the center once more. And then walk your hands to your body. So if your right leg is on top, I want you to open the right leg. Open the left leg. Make a note which leg is on the top. Yeah. So sit nice and tall. Notice where you are here. Push the heels to the ceiling and then reach the hands all the way up. Lengthen, reach the hands all the way forward. Notice where you are. So more push the back of the knee on the mat. Lengthen like a puppy. Push the ball of the foot away from each other. You can stay here. You can start to walk yourself forward. We haven't warmed up, so be cognizant. Lengthen the spine. Push the hip back to the back of the mat. And then reach the head forward. Keep allowing your shoulders to melt away from the ears. Allowing your eyes to be soft. As you draw the ribcage in, push the inner groin away from each other. Lengthen the spine. Walk the hands to the right side. Again, mindfully and gently. Try to bring your shoulder again away from the ears. Just be cognizant of where your shoulder is. Find your ujjayi breath. Walk the hands to the left side. Notice your breath. Soften the back of the neck if you can. Walk the hands forward. And then walk the hands towards the body. So for me, the right leg was on top. Maybe for you, the left leg was on top. So I want you to switch the orientation of the leg. So my right leg is going to come in. My left leg is going to come forward. Yeah, find your breath. Inhale, hands reach up. You're going to twist left side. Drawing the shoulder, lengthen the spine as you look to the left side. Again, be cognizant of where your belly and your ribcage is. Relax the shoulder. Again, find that ujjayi breath. Inhale, hands reach up. Draw the hands all the way up. As you exhale to the right side. Again, cognizant of where the shoulder is in space and allowing your ribcage to draw in. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. As we exhale, reach forward, lengthen, maybe fold it. Again, notice the back of the legs, notice the shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Walk the hands to the right side, to your right. Walk the hands to the center, to the left side. Walk the hands back to center and walk yourself back. Now breathe in. Notice where the left leg is. Bring the peace finger, catch the left leg. Bring the peace finger, catch the right leg. So sit nice and tall, shoulders down. Then inhale, maybe lift halfway. So pull the knee towards the chest. So find your seat. So find the length in here. Maybe straighten the right leg. You can keep the left leg bent. Yeah, if you say good day, maybe straighten both legs. Notice your shoulder. Can you bring the shoulder down, belly in, sitting up nice and tall? Notice your breath. If you roll back, just roll into halasana and back. Just be like a child. Be cognizant, be aware. Again, finding where your seat bones are. Lengthen. Breathe in. Push into those big toe joints. Draw the shoulder down. Take a deep breath in. Can you slowly bring the legs halfway? Just keep the hands in Namaskar Mudra. Really find your legs. Yeah, Find your legs. Breathe in. Keep smiling. If you fall out, come back in. Release the legs on the mat. Now inhale, pull. Lift your hip up. Find your breath. Lower your hip down. So keep the hands, you can change the hands, but keep the left hand forward now, inhale left. Yeah, keep those hands on the mat. Really find your tricep, bicep. 
So find your breath. You can point the toes now and lower down. Inhale, lift. Really find your shoulders. Lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, press up. Find your breaths. Really feel the strength on your hands. Lower down. Can we change hands? Let's see how the right hand is doing. Again, this prepares us for the Chaturanga Dandasana. So it's important to make sure the hands are strong on the mat. Really spread them. Then inhale, just use your body weight and lift your hip up. Keep both legs straight. Exhale down. Inhale up. It's just the hip. If you have it, you can lift the legs up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Find your breath. Exhale down. I want you to find the strength on the hands and find the strength on the body. Lower down. One more time. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Bring the left leg towards the right foot. And then straighten the legs. Dandasana. Again, reach under. Maybe lift any extra flesh that you have there. Sit nice and tall. Bring the rib cage in. Sit and then press the hands. I want you to work on lifting the heels. So back of my knees on the mat, draw the kneecap towards the body, push the hand into the mat. You can soften the elbow to allow the shoulders to open. I want your sternum to lift to the front of the room. Find your length. Exhale the heels down. Hands reach up. Breathe in and reach your hands forward. I want you to continue to look forward. Maybe you catch the toes. Now, if you cannot catch your toes, I want you to bend the knee. Yeah? Often at time, I always say keep the legs straight. Because we haven't warmed up, you can bend the knee if the hamstring is tight. So every so often, then you straighten the legs. Yeah? So lengthen the spine. Keep looking forward. Back is flat. Shoulder is down. As you exhale, maybe display the elbow open. Lengthen the back of the neck. Relax the shoulder. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, see what at the back, you can lengthen, pulling the navel in and up towards the spine. And then maybe relax the head. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Notice what comes to mind. Really focus on the movement and focus on your breath. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. We twist to the right side. Again, left hand outside of the left knee, right hand behind you, push into the right hand, look up, lengthen, and then lean to the back of the room. Keep the back nice and straight, push on the ball of the foot, energizing the foot as you twist. Be cognizant of your breath. Bringing your gaze forward, smile. Inhale, hands reach up. Then as you exhale, rib cage in, Twist to your left side, right hand outside of that left, right, left knee. Draw shoulder down. Look a halfway or look through a quarter way. Again, rib cage in. You want to lift through the sternum. Push into the left hand. Don't collapse on the left elbow. Open the heart. Shoulders soft. And allow your face to relax as well. Return the gaze forward. Hands reach up. Now bend the knee. Bend the knee, pull the navel in towards the spine, down round the back. I want you to inhale, lift halfway into Navasana. So really start, just slowly build up the energy. Notice your breath, shoulder down, really find your hands, reach those hands towards your feet. Can you straighten your leg without compromising the back body? Yeah, notice your breath. Energize the legs, maybe come halfway if that was too much for you. Again, you can straighten the legs, point the toes, breathe in. See whether you can bring your legs towards your chest, chest towards the legs. Becomes more challenging. Now, lower halfway. Back is on the mat. Really energize as you draw the shoulder down, belly, rib cage in. Really find your core, the midpoint of the body. Notice your breath. Stay with me. So inhale, I want you to press the hands into the mat. Bring the legs overhead. Bring the legs overhead in halasana. Halasana. Support the back if you need it. 
If their legs do not touch the mat, I want you to support the mat. If they touch, I want you to start to push the hip. That way they can be stuck over the shoulder. So keep working in, 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 in. You can bring the palms down. Keep the eyes soft. Again, noticing as you push in, notice the weight on your shoulder, but see whether you can straighten the legs. You can interlace the hand here. We go side to side until you can draw the knuckles down. Back of the head on the mat, maybe straighten the leg. Notice your breath. Notice your shoulder. I want you to deepen your breath here because the heart, you know, you start to feel the difference when your legs are above the heart, the inversion starts to kick in. Support your back if you need it. Then inhale, press the right leg all the way to the ceiling. Energize the foot and the left leg to meet with the right. Now, if you know your practice, you can start to wiggle side to side until you have that shoulder stack. There is no ponytail disturbing you in this posture. It's still comfortable. It's still easy. Belly in, if you can. Rip cage in. Press into your back and then allow your legs to reach to the ceiling. Now, listen. I want you to bend the left foot, bend the right foot, yeah? And support your back. Keep those hands in the back. And then slowly turn your right hand around, left hand around, and bring your right foot on the mat quietly. Supported bridge. Take your time. Don't rush the pose. Supported bridge. We go side to side, side to side, side to side. Legs are hip distance apart. And find yourself in bridge pose. Now, if your rib cage are sticking out, draw it in, belly in, and draw the knuckles down. Again, side to side. Be cognizant of your belly. Be cognizant of the tailbone under. Back of the neck on the mat, push into the ball of the right foot, left foot, lift the hip and your breath. Release the hand and draw your back body to the mat, just the back. Mid back, keep the hip off the mat. And then on last thing to come down is the hip and the head. And then lift the legs up to the ceiling. Find your breath, reach the hands towards your toes. Back is on the mat, think about flat back. Then we're going to rock forward and back. Forward and back. Take as much time as you need. And we're going to rock ourselves into Malasana. So you're going to open your legs a couple of times. Yeah? Until you can come into Malasana. Yeah? Find your breath. Like nothing happened. So if you have to use your hand, do so. Then use your hands. Press the hip away. Look forward to lengthening the back body. And then make sure your heels are on the mat or you put a block underneath your heels. Use the elbow, open the chest. Notice your breath. Then bring the hands to the mat. Lift the hip, keep the legs where they are. Point your toes forward, that way they are mat distance apart. Navel in, rib cage in. You can come into the fingertip. Bend the right leg, find your breath. Straighten the right leg, bend the left. Bend the right, straighten the left. Straighten the right, bend the left. Release the head towards the toes as you clasp opposite elbow. Draw your kneecap towards the body, relax the head. Maybe a little bit of yeses here, a little bit of no. Feel your breath. Keep the legs really grounded into the mouth. Continue to breathe in. Really feel up the back body. Let your let head hang heavy. See whether you can bubble the knuckles, the hands, the forearm towards the toes. Find your back of your leg. Hamstring love, not a fighter. So keep breathing here, in and out. A little sway in here, like a rat doll. Again, don't go too fast. Just be mindful of your body. I want you to warm up the hamstring here. Find your leg. Release the hands on the mat. Right hand stays literally in the tip of the nose. Bring your left hand 
to your left hip. Now, draw your right shoulder right onto the mat. Push the right hand into the mat. Straighten your arm and then take the left hand all the way up. Be cognizant of bringing that right rib cage to the midline. Keep the hips squared and then reach the left hand all the way up. Find your breath. Breath is key. Exhale, switch hand. Left hand down. Inhale, right hand to the right hip. Push the right hip back. Legs can be bent if the hamstring is too tight or straighten the leg. Then inhale, take the right hand all the way up. Push the left hand into the mat and then allow the shoulders to broaden here. Where's your breath? Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Come into the fingertip. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, rib caging. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knee, walk the legs together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Push the mat away. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart in prayer. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. First, reach up. Tuck the tailbone under. To take a back bend. Open up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to your feet. Frame the front foot. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, step the left leg back. Way back. Left knee on the mat. Bend the right knee over ankle. Hands palm up. Reach up. Open the heart. Take a back bend. Exhale, frame that front foot. Lift the left knee. Take the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward into your plank. Knee, chest and chin. Inhale, coming into Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Notice your breath. Don't lift the left leg up, just bring it in between the hands. Right knee on the mat. Inhale, hands, palm is open. Reach up all the way up. Open, lean back. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet with the left. Hands frame the front foot. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the palm all the way to the ceiling. Reach first up to the ceiling. Tuck the tailbone under. Take a back bend. Open up. Exhale, bring it to center. Bring the hands in prayer. Eyes open. Gaze is forward. Inhale, reach the hands, palm open. Think as if you're going for a back bend. Open, first open, tuck the tailbone under. Push the hip forward, take a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, step the left leg back. Left knee on the mat. Bend the right knee over ankle. Hands reach up. Now I want you to look forward. Open the heart as you take a back bend. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Take the right leg back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into your plank. Lodi Shabra. Knee, chest and chin. Inhale, coming into Cobra, Bhuja Angasana, top of the leg on the mat. Press back, downward facing dog. Find your breath, inhale. Exhale. Bring the left leg in between the hands, same left leg, right knee on the mat. Palm open, reach all the way up, reach back, take it back, knee over ankle. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat, hands to the feet. Inhale, look forward. Bring the right leg to meet with the left quietly. Inhale, halfway lift. Frame that front foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands reach all the way up. Open, press back. Hands switch forward. Bring in front of the heart. Inhale, hands reach up. Take a back bend. 
Keep hitting those legs back, thumb and index finger on the mat. Forward into your plank. Knee, chest and chin. Inhale, coming into Cobra, Bujangasana. Top of the legs on the mat, elbow is bent. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, bring the right leg in between the hand, left knee on the mat, knee over ankle. Hands reach up, palm facing the front of the room. Reach back, take a back bend, open the heart. Exhale, bring the hands, frame that front foot. Lift the left knee, left leg to meet with the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to your feet, frame the front foot, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the hands overhead, palm up. First reach up, open, take a back bend. Exhale, bring the hands in Namaskar Mudra, Anjali Mudra. Hands by the side. Inhale, hands reach up, last time, open the heart, take a back bend. Exhale, hands to your feet. Breathe in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left leg back. Bring the left knee on the mat. Inhale, hands reach up, open the heart, lean back. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Frame the front foot. Lift the left knee, right leg to meet with the left leg. Downward dog, mountain pose. Inhale, forward into your plank. Knee, chest and chin on the mat. Inhale, cobra, bujangasana, top of the legs on the mat. Press back, downward facing dog. Stay here in the downward dog or take a child's pose. Make sure thumb and index fingers on the mat. Lengthen the spine, bring those rib cage in. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel the warmth, if any. Now, bend the knee, either step forward or jump forward. However you get there. Hands frame the front foot. Relax the back of the head. Inhale, reach the hands out like a, a butterfly. Reach up and bring to touch overhead. Bring the hands in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Take a back bend, open the heart. Exhale, trace the midline. Or butterfly your hands out. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. You can either step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. We meet in plank. Yogi push up or knee, chest and chin. We've been here. Up dog, open the heart or cobra. Noticing your breath. Press back, downward facing. Thumb and index finger on the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. You can bend the knee, gaze between the hands, step forward or jump forward, or just walk your legs to your hand. Forward fold. Inhale, butterfly your hands out, open those shoulders, hands reach up, tailbone under, bring the hands in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, hands reach up or reach the hands all the way up. Look up to your thumb. Take a back bend. Open the heart. Exhale. You can butterfly your hands out. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. You can bend the knee or step back, jump back. We meet in plank, Taranga Dandasana. Elbow hugging. Inhale, up dog, top of the legs on the mat. Press back, downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. Breathing in the downward dog, making sure thumb and index fingers on the mat. Heels reach back, legs are hip distance apart. Again, be cognizant whether you're flaring your rib cage out and bring them in. Again, lengthen the crown of the head towards the earth, broaden across your shoulder. Again, notice your own breath. Again, once again, you can bend the knee, gaze between the hand, either step forward or jump forward. Halfway left. Exhale, you forward fold, Uttanasana, relax the head. Inhale, reach the hands out. You can butterfly the hands out. Hands reach up. Hands in Namaskar Mudra, Anjali Mudra. Find your legs, find your breath. Once more, inhale, hands reach up. 
Take a back bend, open heart. Exhale, forward fold. Decide which variation. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands on the mat. You can either step back, jump back. We meet in Staranga Dandasana. Cognizant of your movement. Open the heart. Relax the shoulder. Press back. Downward facing dog. That was Surya Namaskar A. Sun salutation and moon salutation. So find your breath. Breathe in and out. Notice your shoulder. You can bend the knee, step forward or jump forward. We meet in Uttanasana halfway left. Exhale, fold. Relax the head. Inhale, you can open the hands, butterfly your hands all the way open. Bring the hands in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, hands reach up. Find your breath. Exhale, you can butterfly your hands out. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knee, sweep up, chair pose, Ukatasana in Sanskrit. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana in Sanskrit. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knee, step back or jump back. We meet in Chitaranga Dandasana. It takes about the same amount of time. Inhale, up dog or cobra, top of the legs on the mat. Press back, downward facing dog. Left leg flat on the mat for 40, 45 degrees on the mat. Right leg in between the hand. Vidra Vidrasana 1, warrior 1. Square the hip, open, bend the right leg over ankle. Again, draw the belly in, rib cage in. Your shoulders are soft. Find your breath. Exhale, both hands on the mat. Step the right leg back to meet with the left. Downward facing dog. Make sure your thumb and index fingers pushing the mat away. Forward into your plank alignment. Tailbone under. Knee, chest, chin or yogi push up. Elbow hugging. Inhale, up dog. Top of the legs on the mat. A little smile goes a long way, I promise. Press back. Downward facing Right leg 45 degrees on the mat. Float the left leg in between your hand. Hip mobility as you rise up. Vidra Bhadrasana 1. Belly in rib cage in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the left leg back. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward into your plank. Knee, chest, chin or yogi push up. Elbow hugging, tailbone under. Up dog, top of the legs on the mat. Shoulder away from the ears, broaden across the sternum. Spread the legs back, downward facing dog. Bend the knee, gaze between the hand, either step forward or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, relax the head. Bend the knee, chair pose. Ukatasana, tuck the tailbone under. Belly in, rib cage in. Inhale, rise up, bring the hands to the Namaskar Mudra. Sun Salutation B. Inhale, hands reach up. Take a back bend, open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, hinge from the hip. Bend the knee, chair pose. Ukatasana. You can go for Bakasana, crow pose. Or you bring the hands to the mat, step back, jump back. Staranga Dandasana. Listen to your body. Inhale, up dog, top of the legs on the mat. A little smile. Press back, downward facing dog. Left leg on the mat, right leg in between the hand. Vidra Bhadrasana 1. Square the hip as you rise up. Mindfully and breathing in the posture. Yoga. Exhale the hands to the mat. Right leg, sweep it back. Plank, yogi push up. Up dog, open the top of the legs. Press back, downward facing dog. Right leg, 45 degrees on the mat. Slide your left leg in between the hand. Vidra Bhadrasana 1, belly in, rib cage in. Square the hip, soften your shoulder. Exhale the hands to the mat. Step the left leg back. Downward dog. 
forwarding to your plank. Yogi push up, up dog, top of the legs. Press back, downward facing dog. Breathe here in the downward dog, cognizant of your hands. Shoulder is broad, neck is long. Look towards your knee. Bend the knee, step forward or jump forward. In her halfway left, exhale, frame the front foot and forward fold. Relax the head. Bend the knee, chair pose, Ukatasana. Tuck the tailbone under, rib caging. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, right away, hands in Namaskar Mudra. Again, make sure, think about you're saluting the sun. Yeah, and allow yourself to focus on that intention that you set in the beginning of the class. Hands reach up. Look up, take a back bend, open. Exhale, forward fold, always giving thanks. Inhale, halfway left. Bend the knee, chair pose, ukatasana. You can take bakasana. You can stay in the chair for some time. And we all meet in Chitaranga Dandasana. However you get there, yoga is not a, a challenging asana. It's challenging you and yourself on the mat. It's not a competition. Press back into your downward dog. We meet there in the downward dog. Notice your breath. Left leg in between the hand warrior one. Square the hip as you rise up. Movement with breath. Belly in, rib cage in. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Step the left leg back. Downward facing dog. Forward into your plank. You can skip any of the vinyasa. Yogi push up. Up dog or cobra, top of the legs. Smiling, pressing back. Downward facing dog. Notice your breath. Shoulders soft, eyes soft. Left leg on the mat. Right leg in between the hand. Warrior Uno. Square the hip as you rise up. Exhale the hands to the mat. Right leg back. Downward dog. Forward into your plank. Here we go again. Vinyasa. Up dog. Open. Shoulder. Chest. Allow yourself to open. Press back. Downward facing. Bend the knee, either step forward or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Frame the front foot, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knee, chair pose, Ukatasana. Tuck the tailbone under. Again, breathe in. Inhale, power through your legs, bring the hands in Namaskar, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach up, open the heart, lean back, take it back, bend. Exhale, give thanks. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knee, chair pose, Uttanasana. Exhale, Bakasana, or you jump back, we meet in Chitaranga Dandasana, however you get there. Up dog or cobra. We meet in downward facing dog. Stay in the downward dog or take child's pose. Listen to your body. Breathe in and out. Bend the knee, gaze between the hands. Step forward or jump forward. Inhale, halfway left, flat back. Exhale, frame the front foot. Forward fold, legs are together. Bend the knee, chair pose, ukatasana. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, bring the hands in, namaskar mudra. Bend the knee, chair pose, ukatasana. Exhale, forward fold, frame the front foot. Allow the head to release. Lengthen, flat back. Step back or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. We meet in plank, we take it easy, you decide. Up dog, open, find your breath. Press back, downward dog. 
Left leg in between the hand, Vedra Bhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Alignment is key, extend. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Stay with it. Coming back to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step the left leg back and up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Left leg behind the right, quietly. Inhale, while thin, or take wheel pose. Listen to your body. Again, noticing where you are. If you're in the wheel, come back. We made in one leg a dog. Extend the left leg all the way up. Bring the left leg behind the right and come into a modified plank. Make sure your hands are underneath the shoulder. Thumb and index fingers pressing the mat away. Lower, tailbone down. Inhale it up. Lower, find your breath. Inhale up. Last one, I promise. Lower. Up dog, release the left leg, open the heart. Relax the shoulder, push on the thumb and index finger. Press back, downward dog. Left leg on the mat, right leg in between the hand, Vidra Padrasana two. Same pose. Relax the shoulder, tuck the tailbone under, knee over ankle, lengthen. How are we doing? Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior, rib cage on the right side, draw in and reach back. Find your breath. Coming back, warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to the mat and send the right leg back and up. You can point toes, push the mat away, relax the head, straighten the arm. Bend the knee, open the hip. Again, as you open the hip, you can stay here. You can take it farther and bring that right leg behind the left, left leg straight. Inhale, lift on up while thin or take wheel pose. Be cognizant as you go into wheel, wherever you are. Remember, it's yoga practice. You have all the time in the world. It's a journey you're having with yourself. And then come back quietly, one-legged dog, like nothing happened. Right leg behind the left, forward into plank variation. Breathe in and bring your forearm on the mat. Take your time, belly in, rib cage in. Shoulders soft, broaden across the chest. Find your length, commit is the key. And really noticing the warmth you created in this posture. Finding your belly, zipping up. Every time you hug your belly in, be cognizant that your ribcage are not flaring out. Come back into the hands and press back, downward facing dog. Forward into your plank, yogi push up, knee, chest, chin, you can skip it. Or go for it, up dog. Find your breath. Press back, downward facing dog. Right away, take the left leg all the way up. Point toes, flex toes, you decide what's comfortable. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Send the left leg over to the right side. Inhale, flip on up, open. Fall in triangle. You can challenge yourself by lifting the left leg to the right hand and lift it all the way up, push into the right foot. Wherever you are, remember it's the journey you're having with yourself. Exhale, right hand down. Left leg reach high. Left leg in between the hand, Vidra Bhadrasana one, warrior one. Interlace the hand overhead, lengthen the spine, square the hip, reach the index finger forward, left knee bent. Inhale, lift the right leg back. Point toes or flex toes and coming to warrior three. Breathe in. Right leg to meet with the left. Chair pose, ukatasana. Tuck this tailbone under, sit low. Bring the hands in namaskar. You can just stay here. You can bring the right elbow, thumb to the sternum. You don't have to go any farther. 
you can bring the right hand down. So many options, but here is where you start to check with the ego. Find your breath. Wherever you are, you can take side crow here and allow your hands to reach high and allow the right hand to come down. Knees together. If you're in a side crow, start to make your way into chair pose. Ukatasana. Inhale, rise up. Mountain pose, hands in Anjali Mudra. Tailbone is down, shoulders down. Inhale, hands reach up. Take a back bend, open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, give him thanks. Inhale, halfway lift. Either step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Broaden across the sternum. Shoulders down, top of the legs on the mat. Press back, downward facing dog. Keep pushing those thumb and index finger. Connect the movement with your breath. Shoulders soft, high soft. Take the right leg all the way up. You can point the toes. Find your breath. Right knee, right elbow. Right knee, left elbow. Now, I want you to cross the right leg over to the left side. Then inhale, lift your hip, open the chest while thin. You can just stay here, know where to go, it's okay. But make sure you are on, a, on your mat. You can bring the peace finger, catch the left, big, right big toe rather. Then inhale, lift. You can continue lifting with the hand, or you can extend that left hand, pushing to the right hand. Again, the journey you're having here is the journey you're having with yourself, the relationship you're having with yourself. No violence, yeah? Reach the left hand down, take the right leg all the way up. Extend, point those, flex those. Exhale, right leg quietly in between the hand. Warrior one, Bhadra Bhadrasana one. Square the hip. Again, checking in, nothing wrong with checking in. Again, interlace the hand overhead. Release the index finger. Lengthen the spine, body upright. Lean forward as the index finger reach forward. Knees bend generously. Then inhale, take the left leg back. Extend, hug the rib cage in towards the spine. And then point the index finger forward. Notice what's happening to the body. How is the back of the neck? Extend the left leg back. Left leg meets with the right. Cheer pose. Hands in Namaskar Mudra. Nice and proud. You don't have to go anywhere from here. You can stay here. Working in your chair. Left elbow. Right side. Thumb to the sternum. You can stay here. Knees together. Check the knee. Left hand down, maybe. Right hand reach high. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you take it to side curl. You decide. Only do what you did on the left side. Don't change your mind midway. So wherever you are, keep working on that breath in and out. When you have it, we all meet back in chair. Then inhale, rise up, hands in Namaskar Mudra. Notice your breath. So as you're saluting the sun, you're quieting the inner thought and being present. Inhale, hands reach up, take a back and open the heart, lean back. Exhale, give thanks. Are you forward fold? Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the right leg back. Left leg to meet with the right leg. Back into downward facing dog. Vinyasa, yogi, push up, elbow hug in, tailbone under. Inhale, up dog. Find your breath. Come back into plank. Bring the right forearm on the mat. And then reach your left hand forward. I want you to pull the left shoulder away, extend. Hit those heels back, lengthen. Left forearm on the mat. Oh boy, party time. Right hand reach forward. Push the left hand, extend those heels back. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in, right forearm on the mat. Smile, yogi push up, you can drop the knee. Off dog, open the heart. Notice what's happening. Come back to plank. Yeah, come back into the forearm, 
We're going to roll the hip towards the left. Don't drop the knee. Roll it to the right. I want you to engage your core to the left. A little smile goes a long way. When you're frowning, remind yourself, take small efforts to frown. But to smile, the muscles are like, ooh, yay. Ooh, yay. I want you to hug the core in. Finding that twist, belly is towards the rib cage. Find your breath. Couple more here. Shoulder is soft. Eye soft. Breathe. Coming back to stillness. Lift on up. Plank. How we doing? Downward dog. Let it go. Left leg outside of the left hand. Boom. Lengthen. You can stay on the hand. Lizard pose, forearm on the mat. Square the hip, extend that right leg. Reach the crown of the head forward. Think about the perfect lizard, your lizard. Breathe in and breathe out. Shoulders soft, eyes soft. Come back into the hand. Come to the knife edge of the left leg. Send the right leg back. Use the left hand, open. So again, find where it's comfortable. Maybe you stay on the hand. Maybe you stay on the right forearm. Yeah? Wherever you are, we're going to reach the left hand all the way forward. Draw the shoulder away from the ears and extend. So as you bend the left leg, feel that yumminess in the IT band. Where is your breath? Make sure you're breathing. There's no need to force the poses. This should be organic. Come back into the hand. Right forearm, bring it on the mat. Inhale, bring the left leg into side plank on the right side. Lift that right bottom, reach the left hand up, and reach the left hand forward. Now, if it's a good day for you, you can inhale, bring the left leg, peace finger, push in the right forearm, and maybe take the left leg up. Notice your breath. Yeah? So... Whatever you decide to do, we're going to bring that left leg to the right hand. Oh boy. Come back into a low lunge. Smile. We've been here before. Open the heart. Now you can stay here, straighten the left leg coming into half split or full split. Yeah. So the story of the Hana Manasana, the monkey deity, it's all about teaching us about patience. Patience in the name of love and allowing your hip to be square. Wherever you are, remember, this is a journey that you're having with yourself. So pulling that left hip back, open. You can stay on the fingertip like I am. If the hip is more open, you can shuffle the right leg back. See whether you create more space. Think about patience as you draw the rib cage in. Body is up, right? And allow your smile to come because when the mon monkey deity was looking for love for the king, he was patient to find the right time to wiggle the tail. So you can always wiggle and see whether you can come a little bit lower. But don't compromise the hip or the back or the shoulder and smile. Yeah? More practice, we get good at it. Bring the hands on the mat. If you're in the split, crawl up and take the left leg back. Like nothing happened. Downward dog. Find your breath. Forward into your plank. We win. Yogi Pasha. It's about winning. Up dog. Open. Bruises are good as well. Press back. Downward dog. Let it go. Find your breath. Right leg outside of the right hand. Laser pose. Think about your own laser. Maybe a Julie lizard, maybe a Barbara lizard, maybe a Paul lizard, whichever one, maybe Italian li lizard, okay? So they're all perfect in their own glory. So maybe this is a Beth lizard that I'm in today, yeah? The journey you're having on your mat, you have to be cognizant of the breath you're having, how your body's feeling, what thoughts come to mind. This is really when we talk about yoga, you can start to bring the forearm on the mat. Again, you decide where the left leg goes because this is where the journey and the ego meet and then somehow you have to quiet one. Wherever you are, you're going to come back into the hand. 
and you're going to roll over to the right edge of that right foot. A little smile goes along. With. Use your right hand assist. So lean more forward as you bend, as you bring the belly in. You can stay here on the hands. If you say good day, you bring the left forearm on the mat and act like nothing is happening but your breath. Notice your IT band, the lovely IT band, the back body. Engage the left leg. Then inhale, coming back into side plank on the left side. Again, there is no, no, no need to be in a discomfort, you know, when I'm not, at, not in front of you. And then reach the right hand up. Squeeze that left hip up. Tailbone under, body is flat. Then reach the right hand forward. This is perfect. Side plank. If you further to go, you know your body more than I do. You can bend, catch, and then take the right leg up. Hip opener, shoulder away from the ears. So wherever you are, remember your breath. Right leg meets with the left hand, quietly and effortlessly, rolling up. And then bring the left knee on the mat for low lunge. Opening again. Find your breath. Exhale, frame the front foot. Look forward to lengthen. Half split, half monkey pose, half Hana Manasana. You can stay here. Be cognizant of the left knee. Or you can wiggle back. Think about what love means to you. Does it come easy? Yeah? Do you just love easily? Do you trust easily? Yeah? For you to fall in love, this modern key of falling in love, or loving your neighbor as yourself. Whichever school of thought that love means to you, think about patience as you go into this pose. Notice your breath. Smiling, maybe you come down. Wherever you are, we're gonna start to make our way out of this pose, quietly and mindfully. However you get there, there's no pain. There's no injury. Downward dog. When you listen to your body, no injury. When you don't listen, you listen to the ego. Lots of injury. Bring your forearm on the mat. This is an inversion by itself. Dolphin pose is the precursor. You can stay here. You can interlace the hand. Bring the crown of the head to the mat. You can use a walk. You can start to walk the legs in. Belly in, repaging. Float the leg up. One at a time, two at a time. Again, when you start to listen to your body, the body just knows where it is. If you fall, that is the body saying, nope, not today. If you're hanging, you can start to play. Yeah, we've been in split. We've been in wide-legged spread. Really allowing yourself to have fun. Really noticing your body. The good thing about inversion is start to cool the body. Notice your breath. Again, if you come out, take child's pose, counter poses. If you are still there, you can wrap the leg, take eagle. The key thing about inversion is that we can stay there and have conversation. If you have eagle spread and cross the other leg. Notice your breath. Wherever you are, we're going to come out quietly. Take child's pose. Hip to heels. Extend those hands forward. Lengthen the spine. And when you have it, snake your body right flat on the mat. Lay yourself flat on the mat. Bring the hands behind you. Interlace the hand. Draw knuckles back. And then lift the heart. Press the big toes on the mat. Look forward. Draw knuckles. Make the palm come together a little bit. Knuckles back. Open the sternum. Release the head on the mat. Keep the hands where they are. Pull the knuckles back and then lift the legs. Find your breath. Release on the mat. Bend the knee. Catch your ankle. Flex your toes. Flex your toes. Lift the knee. The knee then lift the head. Push into the hands as you straighten out the arm. Find your breath. Keep lifting the knee. Maybe they go higher than mine. Relax the back of the neck, maybe look up. Release right away on the mat. Roll over to your back body. Bend the knee and take bridge pose. 
or take wheel pose. Find your breath. Lots of back bend, lots of twists. Find your breath. Remember your rib cage is in. Release the hand. Lift the legs up to the ceiling. If you're not able to get into a headstand, it's a great way to be. Hands reach overhead. Right away, I want you to lower your right foot and touch your left leg. Lower, come up. Lower, come up. As you exhale, come up. Inhale, lower. Come up with the exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs, right leg to meet with the left. Rib cage in, lower the left leg. Hands to your feet, come up and down. Quietly, come up and down. Don't rush, come up and down, up, down. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Hold one, bring the left leg to meet with the right or the other foot. Back of the knee is straight. And then open the legs. Back is on the mat, open the legs. Shoulder drawing down away from the ears. Bring the sole of the feet together. Open the hip. Find your breath, shoulder is down. Release the foot down. Reclining butterfly pose. Back is flat, one hand on top of the heart. One on the belly. Maybe you remember when you first started the poses and the yoga practice. I asked you to set an intention. We seal all that within. If there is anything that no longer serves you, I want you to just breathe in and then exhale. If during practice you told yourself, I'm enough, I am great, then bring that in. Then if you're feeling, oh, what's for dinner, it's okay. Just allow yourself to feel your heart desire. Or feel your true self, your inner self. And just breathe in. And start to quiet the body, noticing any warmth. Allow the hips here to open. Allow the heart to receive. Now allow the shoulders to just soften. If you have tight shoulders, continue to send breath to the shoulders. You can stay here in the comfort of your own home. You can spread the hands open. Just allow your hands to open. You hug the knee to the chest. Final twist. Drop to the left. Look to the right side. Pin the right shoulder down. Allow the right knee to stack on top of the left. And let your back loose. You can stay in Shavasana or you can twist. Bring your knee both into the chest. Maybe hug it in. And then over to the right side. So as you hug the right knee, it's towards the chest. The knee touches like in chair pose. And then you look to the left. Supported twist. Make sure the left shoulder is on the mat. Allow your neck to release. Bring the left hand to meet with the right hand in fetal position, just like a child in a mother's womb, feeling the love, feeling the self-care, just breathing in, enjoying where you are. When you have it, left hand presses yourself to sit, sit nice and tall, bring the hands in Namaskar, Angela Mudra. Bow your chin towards your heart, honoring the highest teacher, the teacher that listens to the body, the mind, and the spirit. The teacher within is kind and love. The teacher within radiates light. And when you allow your light to shine, that is the relationship you're having with yourself. And then you can be light. Bring the hands to the third eyes. 
honoring yourself, a little smile, smiling at yourself, maybe saying, I'm great, I'm enough, I am loved, I am fun, I'm fun to be around with. And reach the hands to the sun, to the light, I honor you. Warm up the hands, make nice friction. Maybe you cool down, find where it's comfortable, find where it's easy. Really warm up those hands, feel the energy and place it wherever you need it or just sweep the hands from head to toe. Hands open. How else to finish but to love ourselves? Love yourself. Just love yourself. Keep the eyes closed for some time. You can just rock side to side and open your eyes. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. In today's practice, I want you to recognize your own past practice. Set an intention, be mindful with your movement, and allow yourself to feel the poses. Let it be organically. Listen to your body. I'll call several variations. If you have it, you go for it. If not, you stay in the first pose. Yoga teaches us non-violence. The violence that we have with ourselves, the tom oil that we have with ourselves, it could be just the mind telling us we're not good enough. And when you hear that, you can say, thanks for sharing, but I'm good enough. So in this practice, I want you to remind yourself that yoga is the journey that you're having with yourself. And when you can have that journey honestly with yourself, you can reflect that honesty and authenticity when you walk nice and tall as a yogi. So... Without forcing yourself, I want you to come to an easy pose. If you need a block, if you need a strap, if you need a, a bolster, have them handy. Let's enjoy ourselves. The time that we create for ourselves on the mat is about self-care. It's about self-love. And that's the best love you can have. The love begins at home. So it begins from you. Is begin when you say, I believe in myself. So no matter how challenging the asana practice is, I want you to smile and modify. If you're in a headstand, you fall out, take child's pose. That's also a great type of inversion. Remember that each day our practice evolves, even by 1%. And to me, this is you. We start with our simple breathing exercise, and then we take it to Ujjayi breath. We allow our body to warm up, and we let it cool down in Shavasana. You can take longer Shavasana at home, and remember, you can always pause me and repeat. Again, thank you for joining me in this journey. My name is Beth. If you like this content, please share, like, and subscribe. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you.